Okay, this is my version of the Garmin Old Town, I mean not Garmin, that's the camera, Old Town Predator PDL, pedal model. The thing is upside down right now, the kayak. I've looked on uh, YouTube and seen all kind of homemade ones, mostly made out of PVC pipe with all kind of joints. And I've seen the ones that you buy that are, you know, more or less welded together. This is my version. I'm a kind of a woodworker, so I'm always thinking in terms of wood. So here's how it works right here. Here's your components right here. You got your two wheels. I got them at Harbor Freight. I think they were about 14 bucks a piece. You got your 5 8 threaded rod. I got that at Lowe's. Got your little piece of spacer in there. That's a thin wall PVC pipe. It could be any PVC pipe that's, that does the spacing job. These are your two scupper hole legs. Holes in here for the rod to go through, slightly larger than 5 8. And these are the two boards that uh, more or less help carry the load of the thing. I'm going to show you how to put it together. And here, these are the four four and a half inch bolts that bolt these this all together you got your lock nuts and you got your washers so now we're going to go to putting it together and show you how it works oh we got to show you this first this goes in here okay your kayak may have a different size scupper hole so this has got to be custom made this is a two by two treated pine and you treated yeah It'll last longer. You could you could make it out of untreated, but or cedar or something like that. How do you do this? Okay, I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. I gotta get my hatchet. Okay, when you design your trolley for your kayak, now you want it as wide as possible without ridiculously sticking way out. And I found that this this is plenty stable right here. And uh, the height, you don't want it too terribly high or it will tip over. You don't want it so doggone low that you can't think. So this this looks about right here. This is like uh, um, 14 inches up right here, roughly. Okay, how do you make this part right here? Okay, you decide how big, how you want it. Okay. This is a custom-made item right here. Okay. Now you may have a tool that will cut a tenon. I happen to have a tenon cutter. But everybody doesn't have a tenon cutter. So this is how it works right here. There's your 2x2. Two two, and you just take it. Start with the corners. Like that. Alright, now you see you're beginning to about get where you want to be. This is about the size you want right here. I'll just trace that right there to the middle of there. Alright, now you got your little... You got an idea where you want to get to. And you just keep on... It doesn't take long. You just cut a little bit more each time. See, I'm getting closer to the line. Okay, now this is something here that if you haven't ever done it before, the key to this is a sharp hatchet, a good base, and a lot of patience, okay? And fitting. And once you get it close to your size of your scupper hole, you're going to sit it up there and see how far you have to go and so forth and so on until you eventually you'll chop it down until you have something like this and it'll go in there, okay? I think anybody can do that with the instructions that I just gave you. If you can't do that, then you're probably going to have to build one out of PVC and find a piece of pipe that'll fit that. But I like this way. Okay, now, here's how it goes together. These guys go in here. These boards. I'll show you how to do this. I start with a, started with a board. And I flat board, I held it up there and I got my pin and I 
let my hand ride along there, marked it till I got the profile, okay? And then I sawed it out with a with a jigsaw. And then I tweaked it too. When it wasn't quite right, I took a little off and I tried to make it fit reasonably tight where it would catch the weight of the canoe. You know, and give it, it doesn't, you don't have to do it. I tried it without that at all, but I, I just feel like this is a little stronger and steadier. Then your, uh, your pipe, your 5 8 rod goes through here. And of course, you're going to measure your distance right here with these at 90 degrees and then cut your piece and it'll be nice and parallel right here. These guys go right here. And I got these, uh, uh, bolts and they drill through and they go all the way through and they got washers on both sides and lock nuts that holds that steady I got two one and one two like that okay then here goes your your wheels you put the the part that's uh the stuck out part on the inside and your wheels, you're going to have a recessed, and you're going to have one that sticks out. And that rides up against this washer right here. You give it a nice, secure thing. And this washer goes here. And then the lock nut goes here. Then you go to the other side. And do the same thing. So I got my washer. Washer wheel Did I put a washer on the end of there? Did I put a washer there? Yeah. Washer and lock nut. Alright. Tighten it down. It doesn't have to be ridiculously tight. Get it nice and snug. And there it is right there. That's how you make it. That's how you put it together. And uh, we will show you how it works. Uh, in the next uh, video. Actually, we already did that, but we're doing this after we did that, so we'll flip it around when we edit the thing and show you how it works. And it works good. Okay, that's my version. You could customize this same thing to fit any kayak with the holes. There is another thing, where to put it, okay? The kayak has a balance point somewhere around the middle. You want to put this slightly in front of the balance point where the rear will go down because when you pull it, you don't want to have to pull up on it. So if, you, if you're, if you I don't know about, I know these Old Town Predators have the scupper holes in exactly the right place for this to work. But you'll just have to try it out on your kayak and see. Okay, that's how uh, my version of the trolley for the Old Town Predator PDL. And we'll be getting this thing in the water pretty soon and do some more stuff. Now, I'm just going to let it go over until it touches something. And I'm going to walk over. Whoa! Here we go. Now this thing here is in the, the these scupper holes right here. Depending on what kind of kayak you have, you're going to find your best place to fit it. But this one here happens to be, they just happen to be slightly so that it's actually, and then the thing pushes and moves quite easily. So you can, and let me tell you, this is hard to drag along without these wheels. I've tried it, and this is going to make it much easier to get down to the water. Uh, it's very easy to pull it. Stable. It's not going anywhere. No problem at all. Okay, how do you get your wheels out of your canoe? Watch this. Boom, they're out, they just fall off. And then you put 
Push it down. Push it down to the water. 